Let's look at Psalm 80. In Psalm 80, let's look at verse 7. The word of God says, O God of hosts, restore us and cause your face to shine upon us and we will be saved. I want you to rise up now. Now I want you to pray. I want you to tell God that God, I have read your word and I believe it. Let your face shine upon me. Let your face shine upon my family, upon my children, upon my grandchildren, so that I will receive my restoration today. Pray that prayer. Today man, the day of your restoration. Everything that the canker worm have eaten, everything that the locusts have eaten in your life, today man, the day that you will start getting your restoration. It will be restored back to you. deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. You see, the Bible tells me that since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God has suffered violence. And only the violent can take it by It is written in the Bible. Only the violent can take it by So don't come and just be looking Look at verse 4. Psalm 126, look at verse 4. The Bible says, Restore our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Many things that have been lost by the reason of that word of God, I assure you they will be restored. I said they will be restored. Maybe you have lost your faith. Maybe you have lost your hope. Maybe you have lost your joy. Maybe you have lost your relationships. Maybe you have lost your finances. Maybe you have lost your position. Maybe you have lost your land. Maybe you have lost your inheritance. Maybe you have lost your reputation. Maybe you have lost your health. Maybe you have lost your strength. By the reason of that scripture, you are taking them back. Go to the Lord in prayer. Say, at work in your life. 
Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Sit down. Sit down. When I say sit down, don't get me straight. Okay, you know, I told you we are in the 11th hour. Yes. When you are in the 11th hour, you have to be very, very aggressive. Yes. You have to be very aggressive. Yes. You don't mess around. Yes. You don't joke. It's a time that you have to be aggressive. I said there's nothing that can stand your way. I said 
verse 11. The Bible says, the voice of joy and the voice of gladness. The voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. The voice of those who say, give thanks to the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his loving kindness is everlasting. And of those who bring a time of reading to the house of the Lord, for, look at it, look at that. Can you see that? It says, for, I will do what? I will restore the fortunes of the land as the work advanced, says the Lord. Now, God says that some 
somebody is going to have an increase in miracle. An increase in miracle is coming to somebody to know signs and wonders. Signs and wonders that come from God, not from magicians. The one that comes from God is coming your way. Now, to have all these things, to have signs, to have wonders, one miracle, you need increased anointing. Are you here? Yes. You need increased anointing. And today, you will receive that anointing. And that anointing that you will receive Jesus. is going to activate in you yes. the power yes. to break struggles. Yes. The power Jesus. to produce good works. Yes. Let's look at Acts of Apostles in chapter 10. Get ready, you are going to receive the anointing. I'm sure you are ready. Many of you are ready. Yes. You will receive the anointing. Yes. You say, myself and my wife, we have prayed and prayed and prayed over this. Yes. And I believe God yes. that it will have an impact in your life. Yes. Because as we were praying, God was speaking. Yes. And I know that whenever I have that encounter, yes. something is bound to happen. Yes. Acts of Apostles, Let's look at chapter 10. Chapter 10, I want to read from verse 38. The word of God says, You know of Jesus of Nazareth, how God anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power, and how he went about doing good and healing all who are oppressed by the devil. God was with him. 